I'm Ken Farley. I'm a professor of geochemistry at Caltech, and I'm project scientist for the Mars 2020 mission. I'm very interested in determining the ages of rocks on the Earth and on other planets. This is very important because geologic history is about time, and without knowing the ages of those rocks, it's very hard to put the history together. For the first 20 years of my career at Caltech, I was studying the ages of rocks using my laboratory, and I got involved in a KISS workshop a few years ago, and that KISS workshop was asking the question, how can we do better understanding geologic time on Mars? This is not something I had thought about before because if you're working in a laboratory on Earth, you don't usually think about things that you might do on Mars. By chance, just about the same time, NASA was seeking participating scientists for the Mars Science Laboratory mission. And I thought, well, what the heck, I'll put in a proposal to attempt to date rocks on Mars using instruments that were available on the Curiosity rover. NASA accepted my application and we were actually able to determine how long it's been since the rocks that we analyzed formed. And they formed about 4.2 billion years ago. So this measurement that we made was the first time that any measurement of its type had ever been made and I think that's why I found it miraculous that we got the right result. When I was added to the Mars Science Laboratory science team, it wasn't just to make the radiometric age determination, it was to be a member of the science team. And the science team is involved every day in deciding what the rover is going to do. And this, this turned out to be very interesting to me. And ultimately, I got asked to become project scientist for the next Mars rover mission. It's going to launch in 2020. It's called the Mars 2020 mission. And its goal is to seek the signs of life on Mars. So we'll actually be looking for evidence of past life in the ancient rocks on Mars. And most importantly, we're going to be preparing a collection of samples for possible return to the Earth in the future. And this is something scientists have wanted to do for decades. Thanks to the KISS workshop, I, I really got engaged in a, in a kind of scientific problem that I never would have been involved in before. It completely changed the scientific direction of my career. For the next at least 10 years, I'm going to be focused on a rover mission on Mars. Very different than what I was working on before. And it's all because of the Keck Institute for Space Studies.